Well, it's another Tuesday night here at King's Crab Shack, and that's much us meeting. It's time for the news edition of the Coach Harry Show here live on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. Coach, great to have you along for the ride. Brent Good. Ryan, the head coach, Steve Harrison here with you on your Tuesday evening. And a beautiful day. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful out there. You get, you get on the links or no? Uh, no, no links today. Just a uh, little work outside, though. Just uh, uh, took the computer, sat on the porch, and did a little work on the outside. But it was beautiful, so it's, it's a nice day here. No, a nice day indeed. And I finally have made it to April. This is when uh, things start to turn up. Season that started all the way back in October. Now comes down to five games here in the regular season and then uh, hopefully gets to play into May. But uh, made it, we made it to April and now uh, now it's time to go here for this team. Well, definitely. I mean, it, it's uh, uh, this season's gone just so fast it's been incredible uh, uh the, i guess when you're busy it's fun and, and 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 you don't realize how fast it does go but uh uh you know week to week uh you know coming here and then and doing other things uh, as i said it's just it's gone so fast and uh as i said i've really enjoyed it and uh, uh I, i'm as pumped as i was th for that half uh, or that part of the season uh, as i said uh, uh I, i'm really excited for april and uh, uh it should be a fun month and it feels like just yesterday that uh, we were having the first one of these shows there at uh, there at Earl's there before yeah. before the Danbury weekend and now fast forward and uh, and now it's down to the final five games here and uh, you know big test coming up two teams coming up here that uh, are in the playoffs uh, in Mississippi this weekend mm -hmm. and then Columbus coming up next weekend so uh, it's <coughs> not it's not an easy stretch here leading into the playoffs but uh, it'll have your team to try to turn things up and, and try to be able to get ready there for uh, when playoff hockey does come around well that's what you want you, you want to play against good teams and and we actually you know the last few games have been great we, we we've we've uh, uh, I don't know if the last one, uh, even on the weekend, and we'll talk more about that, but uh, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I think the uh, uh, Mississippi, are, are, they're kind of in flux a little bit, but, uh, they, you know, they're in the playoffs, so they're, they're trying to gear up for, you know, that, that first round, and uh, I think they thought they were trying to catch Port Huron, but I, I, I think they lost on the weekend, and that kind of... Uh, nip that one in the butt a little bit, but uh, uh, I know they're gearing up. I talked to the coach, and, and uh, they're 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 excited. So uh, we're we're going to go down there and have a good test. And as I said, I think everyone's everybody wants to play well right now. And and I don't really. Uh, we always want to win. Don't get me wrong, but it, it's it's about how we're playing, and it's about you know even talking to other coaches. It's about being healthy going into the playoffs. It's about playing well, and and then hopefully you're 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 on all cylinders. And and if you can put a couple W's in there, it's it's great. But uh, I, I think if you play good teams and 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 uh, you feel good about what's going on. Uh, that's what you want to be at that at, at that time. Well, we'll get into it as the night progresses, but uh, we'll start off with this. Uh, when you took this team over and you got it here, you get through camp and you go into opening weekend, yeah. uh, knowing that this team isn't wasn't one for a rebuild; it was for a reload. Five games left to go here in the regular season. Do you think that this team is where you want it to be right now from where you saw it at the beginning? Well, yeah. I mean, I, I think uh, th th there's been no surprises. Uh, uh, I, I, I think everybody knew that uh, uh, Columbus were going to be a good team. I think everybody knew that Binghamton were going to be a good team. And uh, I, I think a few other teams uh, we weren't really sure about. But uh, uh, Port Huron's played well. Uh, Mississippi's played well at certain times. Uh, on the other side there, uh, uh, I know uh, Motor City's played well. Uh, they and, uh, they've kind of either won seven in a row or lost five in a row. So they, they, they but on the most part, they've played really well. So, and then, uh, then the other teams that are, I, I don't want to say at the bottom, but uh, they've all improved, and 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 so they've got better. So I, I, I think everything's kind of fallen to where we want to be. And as I said, uh, for me right now personally, as the coach of this team here, uh, you're right. There was uh, uh, the expectations of. Uh, uh, I didn't hear anything about. Uh, well, I hope you make the playoffs <laughs> when I got here. But but that's fun. That's the, that's the excitement and and the team that we have uh, with, with uh, you know if you go down the list uh, you know uh, my probably my uh, two of my lines I, I think everybody's back. Uh, the, the next line there I I, I think uh, uh, two out of the four are back. So. Um, when you have that situation, and, and, and you know, Mario came back, and, and uh, the, the expectations were there. It, it, it's, it's nice to have those expectations, but again, we keep, we've talked about it many, many times, is, is uh, uh, sometimes those expectations get caught. Uh, everyone's looking for the end results, and there's a journey there, and, and we've taken that journey, and we've talked about the house being built, and uh, I, I think we've got the roof on. We haven't put the nails on yet, but uh, we're, we're at a point where I, I'm, I'm happy where we're at, uh, 
uh, again, uh, these next five games are, are uh, uh, for me, it's, it's like uh, a pre-exam. And, and we're going to go in there and, and tinker with some stuff and see where we're at. And uh, uh, we want to be as healthy as we can. Uh, uh, Pesty's going to come back this week. Uh, uh, Schnapp will play this week. And, and then uh, there's a good chance Panacek will play the last weekend a little bit. So uh, th that's what you're looking for. As I said, it's kind of a pre-test, and we'll see where guys kind of fit. And uh, as I said, right now, well, we had a practice today. Everybody was chipper. We had, we had some fun. And, and uh, uh, I think the boys understand where we're going. And uh, so it's, it's right now we're, we're – we're, we're right in the driver's seat, and, and, and uh, I'm happy where we're at. Well, the final stretch gets started coming up this Friday. This Thunderbirds team has won 8 out of 9, now heading down to Biloxi to the Mississippi Coast Coliseum. That's at 8.05 p.m. puck drop Eastern time coming up on Friday. There will be 7.05 coming up on Saturday for Columbus in town next Thursday and Friday. We're just getting started here on the Coach Harry Show here live from King's Crab Check. Great crowd on hand, as always, here on a Tuesday night. We're back with more after this here on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. Here at Comtech, we think it shouldn't cost a fortune to have peace of mind. That's why we bring you the latest in smart home protection and home monitoring at prices you can afford. Already paying for home monitoring? We can beat it. Give us a call today or visit us at ctpower.com. That's ctpower.com. Comtech, your one stop for security, fire, cameras, and more. Once upon a time, not so far away, two heroes found the secret to a perfect game day. They had heard of a baker, one with big heart. They were thrilled he had the answer. Ava's Cupcakes is where he's set to start. From cakes to cookies, cupcakes, and more, we've got flavors that'll score and score. So the Thunderbirds cheered, ready to tell all. Ava's Cupcakes is the sweetest. Bakery to call. Mabel Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pinebrook Bar and Grill, relax by our pool and cabana, and gear up at the Pro Shop while sharpening your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green, and play around on our 18 hall Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. You can find out more at MapleChaseCC.com. That's MapleChaseCC.com. Get ready, Winston-Salem. Jennifer Sapp, your trusted realtor and broker since 1997, puts the real in realtor, and she's proud to be a sponsor of your Carolina Thunderbirds. As a top producer and your go-to realtor for all your real estate needs, Jennifer Sapp is ready to help you score your dream home goal. Call Jennifer at 336-782-3148 or visit her at jennifersapp.allenton.com. We're back here on the Coach Harry Show here live from King's Crab Shack on another Tuesday night. Brendan Riley and the head coach Steve Harrison here with you on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. No player guests tonight. I think uh, none of the guys wanted to uh, wanted to come out of the sun. I mean, well, we, we, nice. yeah, we, <laughs> uh, I, I cut a couple guys off today. So, but uh, no, we just thought we'd do something different. And uh, next week we're going to have a, have one of the guys, the older guys, and uh, getting into the playoffs and get their perspective on 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 how they're feeling and. Uh, uh, where they think the team's going, and, and uh, I, 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 it'll be fun. It'll, as I said, uh, uh, w what I look at and how I feel sometimes is, is a little different than they do, and as I said, uh, um, it, it'll be good to hear uh, uh, one of them or two, if we bring two of them, uh, j just to see what their thoughts are. And that will be at Earl's next Tuesday, starting at 7 p.m. We're back at Earl's next Tuesday, but uh, this past weekend, I uh, ended up coming away with the split, ended up picking up three points there on Friday, got one point on Saturday. We'll start with uh, Friday night and uh, back at home at the at the Annex finishing up, or at the Fairgrounds Arena, rather, finishing up a uh, three-game homestand against a team that you guys had uh, 
walked into 11 and 0 on the year, and it's always hard to beat someone. Uh, we talked about this last week in the NHL. Someone wins 10 straight games. That's a big deal. Doing yeah. it against the same team though yeah. throughout the course of a season. That's an, it's even a bigger and a harder thing to accomplish, especially at the. Uh, we had a situation at the start of the year where I think they were, you know, a new franchise. Uh, they weren't very good the first little while. Uh, they've really improved. I give them a lot of credit, as we've talked about, and 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 they've really improved. And uh, but again, you get that there, and uh, the the way we played Friday night, uh, I, I think we kind of uh, squeezed them a little bit there. And I, I don't think they understood when you when you play in this game. Doesn't matter what level you have. When you only give somebody 15 shots. Uh, you, you've played pretty good, and and uh, you know Carp's got the the shot out, and you know we had timely goals when we needed it, and uh, it, it was a. I don't know how exciting for the fans, but it was a, it was one of those nights where, as a coach, you watch it, and and we we. We squashed them. We, 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 we as I said, uh, you know, in the third period when you're, they're loosey-goosey, like they're out of the playoffs, you think they're going to, you know, try and cheat, and they tried to cheat and stuff like that, and, and I think we gave up two shots. So uh, from my perspective on, on Friday night, I, I, I was tickled pink on uh, uh, how we came out, how we played away from the puck, and, and as I said, uh, uh, I, I think I was actually, I talked to Karp Karpinski today, and he said he, he had the one or two, you know, real tough shots, but, uh, you know, he made the saves when we needed them, so yeah, it was just a, it was an all-around great game. And when when you when you do that situation, it's not one or one line or two lines or whatever. If you don't have all 18 guys going, uh, you're in trouble. And uh, all 18 were going. And one of the things that I was thinking about going into that weekend was teams been eliminated. You know, they don't have much to play for anymore. So would they try to get out there and would they try to? cause issues will they try to cause problems try to ang aggravate guys try to try to fight come with cheap shots but i feel like for the most part yeah there were, there was some physicality there was some there was some there was some extracurriculars but i feel like for the most part it, it, it wasn't that no i i think it was a situation where i i just think we came out and and, and stifled them and i don't know if they understood how to how, how to combat that and uh they're loosey-goosey and i think when we got up a couple goals I, I think they kind of maybe deflated a little bit, and, and those things happen with those type of teams, and that's that's the toughest part for a coach when you're when you're out of the playoffs to, to make sure that those guys want to play 60 minutes, and uh, you you got to pull uh, uh, you got to pull a lot of rabbits out of the hat to make sure guys want to play for 60 minutes when when they're out of the playoffs, and uh, you do things that. Uh, uh, I coached a team one time. We we're out of the playoffs, and uh, I was talking to my wife, and I said, "We did this today," and uh, she was like, "Are you crazy?" And I said, "Well, probably, but but you have to do some things that that keep them engaged, keep them wanting to do certain things, and you have to think outside the box." And and uh, uh, I did, and and as I said, the team played hard. So, like, uh, it, it, that's a tough job for a coach at that situation. And but if you if you put it out there the right way, those guys are playing for jobs for next year. And and those guys, uh, uh, you know, you, you see a guy quit, like, you know, where's his heart? And, and so th there's a lot to play for. And as I said, a lot of times uh, they, they get a little scrambly. And those teams are tough to play against sometimes. And they're, 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 they think it's the middle of summer and they're loose. And, and they're, if they get scored on, it's okay. But they're going for goals. And as I said, sometimes those are tough games. And the composure there on Friday night was something that really stood out, especially that first goal. You're coming off of a penalty kill. Uh, Bioni just gets out of the box. He ends up being able to force a turnover, then boots with a beautiful move going down the left side. Fired a fired a pass there into the slot. You had Baker coming right yeah. off the bench, and, uh, and from there it was kind of all right. Now now here you go. Yeah, I mean it was just kind of one of those moves. I, I did boots probably paid you to say that it was a beautiful <laughs> move, um, uh, but no, like and, and that's what you need. You need a, a defenseman coming out of the box, make a good move, and then you know like uh, uh, we need scoring from a guy, you know boots and and those type of guys. Like uh, uh, that, that's a that's a huge plus for us. And uh, he put it on the stick of Baker, and you know when Baker's in, in that. In that slot area there, there's a good chance he's going to get a good shot, and he did, and uh, uh, we, we got the ball rolling. And got the ball rolling. You go into that second period, and that's where you guys really took over and really put that game to bed. You're able to put up uh, three consecutive – or three goals in that in that second period. Gus has a pair of them, as well as uh, Copes. He's able to, to poke one home. Right. But, that, but that second period, uh, you guys really dominated. Didn't give them much offensively either. Carps mm -hmm. a few saves, but um, a pretty sound second period. Yeah, 
we, we right off the bat, uh, you know, and then uh, Forty made a great play coming around the net, and you, you can't let that guy uh, uh, stand in front of the net with the puck for very long, and, and, and he did, and uh, uh, he made a great move there, and then uh, uh, actually we made a, uh, the, and people, I don't know if they noticed it, we made a play, we came in the zone, we shot it around the boards, and, and, and uh, uh, we went east-west, and, and then, you know, the, the, the play was open in the middle, and, and we scored there, and uh, from my perspective, it, it, it didn't look like a, 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 a great goal but but and from my perspective it was a great goal because we, we moved them around a little bit and, and got them running and uh, 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 Carps there put you know or, or uh, Copes there put it in and uh, uh, finished it off well, he, he was he was thinking that he wasn't sure if it, if it went in he was he was a little up in the air but the but the ref gave it to him yeah. and, and so there and there you take a uh, four nothing lead uh, third period again uh, Tucker ends up getting one that goes off the bar and in and then uh, allowing only two shots there in that yeah. third period that's something that yes you know you pick up five five, five nothing win three points but allow a team only two shots is something that uh, yeah, for especially for that team, you have to be able to put a lot of stock into that. Well, no question. You know, we're we're, we're coming down as a, you know, I hate to be a dead horse, but coming down the stretch here, and and uh, uh, when you get in those situations, that that's what you've got to do. Uh, you know, I, I talk about uh, experiences that I've had and the teams I've coached, and you know, sometimes at the end of the second period, I, I, I you know, I could be sitting in my office and uh, uh, having a cigar and just relaxing, and because I knew the game was over, and that and that's what you have to do. And you know, uh, uh, Friday night was one of those games where uh, I probably didn't have to come out. You know what I mean? And and uh, I have the confidence in the guys that they want to finish it off and, and do it the right way, and uh, they just did a great job. And as I said, for, you know, to give up two shots on a team that's playing like that. Uh, it was pretty uh, pretty spectacular. Well, you end up picking up the five nothing shutout. That was Carps's third straight shutout at home, uh, and in his last three home starts, yeah. uh, now I believe up to five shutouts here this season. Something that uh, something that we talked about after the first one back there, and uh, by around Christmas, it's not it's not easy really ever for for a team to be able to pick up shutouts like that. But now you got five this year. Yeah, no, it's a, that's a the, the guy should be proud of that, and and uh, uh, there's a number that. Uh, uh, somebody drives into their mind once a week, usually, and, and uh, th they know what number that is. And, and it's, uh, uh, it's a team effort. It's not just the goalies. It's not just the defense. It's a team effort. And uh, right now we're in good position of, 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 of finishing where I want to finish for that. And, and if we do finish where we want to be there, uh, we're going to be a tough team to beat. And, and we're going to be there because we're going to make sure we take care of our zone. And... Uh, uh, you know, Friday night was just that one of those nights, and uh, as I said, uh, it, it was really nice to watch, sit back, and uh, coach didn't have to do too much coaching uh, in the third period there, kind of sat back and let the boys do it. Well, now Carolina 23-2-1 and one at home this year. Eclipsed the win total at home from last season uh, and up getting the tw that 23rd win. So now I uh, get two more home games coming up next weekend before the playoffs. But uh, but now, uh, you know, you pick up the three points there on Friday and then you go into uh, that final test there on Saturday against Blue Ridge. And we'll get into that, but we have to run into another timeout here on the Coach Harry Show. Here live from King's Crab Shack here in Winston-Salem. Brent Riley, that Coach Steve Harrison. We're back with more. Or after this, you're on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. Welcome to Martinsville. Martinsville isn't your average everyday racetrack. Far from it. It's truly one of a kind. The speed, the shape, the history, the hospitality, and the heck, even the hot dogs. A one-of-a-kind weekend at the short track of NASCAR with trucks on Friday, Xfinity on Saturday, and Cup Series on Sunday. It's one event too amazing to miss. NASCAR weekend at Martinsville Speedway. Get your tickets now at martinsvillespeedway.com. For over 85 years, Mustin and Crutchfield has been more than just a local market. We've been a proud part of North Carolina's heritage. When our founders started in 1938, they sourced meats from local farmers and groceries from small companies. Finding a way to stay competitive in this market has been a challenge through the years. Luckily, there are a lot of entrepreneurs, and now we have close to 50 local vendors that we feature. We're proud to partner with the Carolina Thunderbirds as a local sponsor, celebrating community values both on and off the ice. Mustin and Crutchfield, your hometown local grocer. Hey there, Triad Thunderbirds fans. Introducing Tee It Up Indoors, 
your ultimate golfing destination in Greensboro. With our cutting-edge golf simulators, you can tee off on world-class courses, no matter the weather. We're not just a golf facility. We're your partner in having a fantastic time. From golf lessons to corporate events, we've got it all covered. Plus, we even host birthday parties. Tee it up indoors, where golf meets excitement. Contact us today and swing into action. When it comes to performance, speed matters, just like on the ice. Introducing Same Day Dental Crowns, right here at Twin Oaks Dentistry. With cutting edge technology, we craft crowns on site, eliminating the need for temporary. As proud sponsors of the Carolina Thunderbirds, we understand the need for top notch performance. We're more than just dental care. We're your partners in achieving your best smile. Twin Oaks Dentistry, where tech We're back here at King's Crab Shack here on another Tuesday evening. It's the Coach Harry Show here on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. Brennan Riley, the head coach. Steve Harrison with you on your Tuesday night. And we just got into uh, Friday night there against Blue Ridge. And then uh, make the final trip of the year up to uh, Withville there on Saturday. The eighth trip going up there and uh, coming off of a 5 nothing victory. Uh, you know, you're trying to finish it off on a high note there against that team with a uh, trying to pick up another three points. But... Uh, uh, you know, that game started, and, and, and the game took a little bit of a different script from what it did uh, there on Friday night. Well, it was one of those games, I, I, I think we, we thought it was the, like about two trips earlier where the bus was in only in second gear, and, and I think we thought we were in second gear most of the night there, and, and uh, I, I, I did a lot of switching there uh, in the second and third period of lines and trying to get some things going, and uh, the, the the result was not there, but uh, when you sit back and think about it, like we, we gave up one goal in six periods, and then they scored one in overtime. So, uh, when you look at the big picture, uh, pretty good away from the puck and, and that, but we just didn't have anything going offensively. And, and as I said, uh, uh, the best analogy I can put is is uh, we got a car that's got four gears, and, and we're in second gear, and we kept trying to put it into third, but we couldn't. And uh, uh, I, I'm not sure if it's the 13th game against this team or we stifled them so bad on Friday that I think we thought it was just going to kind of happen and uh, I told the boys at the end, after the game that you just can't turn it on and off and I said before the game that uh, it's not just going to happen we have to make it happen and uh, as I said uh, a lot of things I thought we did really well and then uh, uh, as I said but uh, offensively we just there was just no jam I guess and, and uh, uh, it, it showed and uh, we, we had a couple power plays there that uh, I thought I was going to have to go out and play uh, that's uh, 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 we, we just didn't generate anything, and and when you're not uh, in that mode, uh, it, uh, th those things happen. You, you, we we had a couple shots where uh, I, I the one I remember like Copelinger had it, and he you know he, he waited waited, and then he shot right into the pads, or you know we had a pass where we should have had it, and and, and and I'm not blaming any one guy. It was just kind of a, a team effort, but we just didn't. Like we didn't have everything rolling that night offensively. Defensively, I thought, you know, as I said, when you give up one goal in in in, uh, in three periods, uh, we're, we're doing something right. And uh, uh, as I said, so for, uh, there was a lot of positives, some negatives again. And, and when you lose, you, you nobody likes to lose, and and uh, uh, you take it to heart. And uh, uh, as, as I said, the the, the one thing that, that uh, uh, I'm looking at is, is if you look in the standings right now, the, the, those those two points. Uh, I uh, hopefully they don't come back to haunt us. That's all. And uh, as I said, we'll see what happens down the road. Well, in that game, you ended up making that switch to your lines. You ended up flipping Copes and Kramer, putting Kramer up with yep. uh, Gus and Dawson, and then Copes with uh, Jan and Chris. What was the thought process behind that? Well, just you know, sometimes you just got to mix things up. Just just to, just get. Uh, it's like drinking uh, the same drink all the time and, and sometimes you just have to you know spice it up and uh, I, I tried to spice it up and then in the third period I actually switched again I put uh, I put uh, Sally with Baker and Ford and, and uh, I put Copelinger in the middle of that so ju just uh, uh, sometimes you do those things and all of a sudden it's for some reason uh, teams 
all of a sudden, well, geez, I'm, I'm playing with somebody different, and oh, you, you get a little, uh, a little energy. And, and as I said, uh, uh, all those changes, uh, we didn't really get any <laughs> energy. So, uh, but it was one. As again, uh, we were in second gear, and uh, we just never got to third. Well, it ended up being they took a one nothing lead there in the early on in that second period. Both netminders had to make some saves there in the first. Both yeah. Mario and then uh, give credit to Owen Liskowitz as well. He played well, but uh, the goalies were playing well. It was a tight game that was pretty clean for the most part, but yeah. they end up taking a one nothing lead there early on in the uh, early on in the second. But then uh, a few minutes later, Joe's able to respond. Well, we, we, we gave up a goal that, that, that we shouldn't give up. Uh, we had a miscommunication, and uh, uh, that, that's a learning experience. So ho hopefully we can learn from that. But uh, you know, we got down one nothing, and then we came right pretty well right back there. And uh, Joe, Joe made probably. Uh, Maybe the play of the week of the year, or like you know, all by himself there doing that, and uh, went to the net and, and made a great play and scored a goal, and uh, it, it was a great goal. And uh, as I said, probably we've had a few highlights like that, but uh, as I said, that was a. Uh, if you look at those highlights, uh, he's got to be right up there. No, and it was a great move. I mean, spinning to the corner, stepping yeah. through a couple guys, and then uh, being able to find it right out there in front. That ties it up, makes it one to one, and then uh, you know it continues to be a competitive game opportunities for both sides but uh give but as i said give credit mario playing well and then uh oh liskowitz on the other yeah. side playing well uh, you know it, ma it made for very entertaining hockey there well, it was, a, it, was a, it was it uh, was from, from that standpoint it was a good game uh it, it, uh, if you're watching the game, it's a 1-1 game, and, and, and you know now you're going down to the stretch in the third period there. And so it, it was exciting, but uh, as I said, we, we uh, uh, I probably wasn't as excited as, as, as normally. Uh, we're, as I said, trying to trying to generate some stuff uh, offensively. So, but uh, as I said, when it's still 1-1, and, and uh, all we have to do is get one, and, and, and uh, t you know try to hold on. Then, but uh, you know we had to go into overtime, and uh, unfortunately things didn't work out our way. No, they've been good in overtime all year this year, 7-2 and two going into overtime into that game or in a shootout. Um, but that ending sequence there, uh, they have it in the attacking zone. Uh, Copes and Ivash can get tangled up. Jan has the breakaway. Liskowitz makes a few saves. And then right after that, they go down and they're able to score. Just, just one of those sequences that, uh, you know, exciting on both ends, but uh, team ends up on the short end of that. Well, if you, if you watch overtime in the NHL or, or, or any overtime like that when it's three on three, it's uh, a lot of times we've talked about it before where it, it, it's it's kind of boring because you know one team doesn't want to give it up and they'll, you know they'll go in the attacking zone and nothing's happening they'll come back out and they'll wait wait and all of a sudden it's a two on one and and then it like then you know the floodgates open and usually uh, those things happen you know uh, we had a chance or they had a chance and then uh, Sal as you said Sally had a breakaway and you know you're thinking oh my lord here, here it goes like that but then unfortunately you know they came down there like that and uh, the guy made a move wide and uh, beat Mario unfortunately but uh, as I said those are things what happens in, in, in the, uh, when you're playing three on three it's, it seems like it's uh, the calm before the storm but once that storm goes it, it's uh, a lot of times there's like two two on ones or, or, or whatever and uh, uh, they can capitalized and we didn't uh, we had to break away to, to, to win it and uh, it was just one of those days again when, when it's not working all the time you know the guy upstairs kind of you know puts the clamps on us a little bit and uh, uh, we came out on the short end came out on the short end a 2-1 loss did get a point though and now sit uh, with 107 points through 51 games but uh, this season so far uh, uh, seven and three in the overtime or shootout this year. Yes, it's three on three and a couple shootout wins uh, there, but picking up seven wins in, a, in, a, in an overtime like that, that that's, that's not an easy thing to do. I mean, especially with that situation, three on three or right. when it comes close, but it shows that this team, when it comes down to winning time, they're, they're able to find it. Well, you want to be calm. You get in the playoffs and it's going to be five on five and, and, and you, you, you don't want to be, you, you want to stay in your, in in your body and you don't want to be uh, oh boy I'm over time and I'm, I'm, I'm nervous or whatever and I, I don't I, I think we're cool calm and collected I, I, I think we feel confident in our ability to, 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 to win in overtime and and, and that, that's I think that'll play dividends down the stretch here uh, uh, you know because uh, you know you get into playoff hockey there's a good chance you're going to overtime some nights and uh, uh, 
we want to make sure that we feel good about ourselves in overtime, and I think we do. Is there anything that changes when it comes to an overtime? Are you guys going out there and trying to press to find a winner there early, or are you still just trying to play your game and let the goal come? Well, you, that, that's a, those are the things that usually happens. Other teams want to press, and, and, and then all of a sudden you got a two-on-one, you go down and score. And and so we, we, we've talked about it uh, I like to say a million times, but probably a zillion times, uh, don't change and, 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 and let the other teams make the mistake. And when they do make the mistake, let's capitalize on it. And uh, if, you know, it, it's always when you're when you want that goal so bad and all you think about is the goal, uh, usually it doesn't happen. And, and when you work for it, all of a sudden, it, boom, I scored two goals tonight. And what did I do? I, I just played my system. And, and so uh, a lot of times just don't get out of, out of our uh, out of our system and out of our, our, our way here and uh, uh, usually good things happen. Well, good things happen indeed. <clears throat> Carolina finishing the season 12-0-1 against Blue Ridge here this year, and now they're getting ready to see the Mississippi Seawolves coming up here this Friday from the Mississippi Coast Coliseum. That's at 8.05 p.m. Puck Trump from Biloxi coming up on Friday, then 7.05 p.m. Eastern coming up on Saturday. But we're about halfway through our program here this evening. Here live from King's Crab Shack, we'll take a timeout and come back with more preview of the weekend, take a look at the bigger landscape <laughs> the FPHL as well. Also have some questions going to be coming for the crowd as well. But we're just getting into the back half of our program here tonight here on the Coach Harry Show here on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. Finish strong. Start here. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist. Here at Comtech, we think it shouldn't cost a fortune to have peace of mind. That's why we bring you the latest in smart home protection and home monitoring at prices you can afford. Already paying for home monitoring? We can beat it. Give us a call today or visit us at ctpower.com. That's ctpower.com. Comtech, your one stop for security, fire, cameras, and more. Once upon a time, not so far away, two heroes found the secret to a perfect game day. They had heard of a baker, one with big heart. They were thrilled he had the answer. Ava's Cupcakes is where he's set to start. From cakes to cookies, cupcakes, and more, we've got flavors that'll score and score. So the Thunderbirds cheered, ready to tell all. Ava's Cupcakes is the sweetest. Bakery to call. Mabel Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pinebrook Bar and Grill, relax by our pool and cabana, and gear up at the Pro Shop while sharpening your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18 hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. You can find out more at MapleChaseCC.com. That's MapleChaseCC.com. We're back here on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB here on the Coach Harry Show here another Tuesday evening at King's Crab Shack. Brendan Riley and the head coach Steve Harrison with you here on your Tuesday night. And uh, got some questions from the crowd here, Coach, and we'll okay. get into these before we get into uh, the bigger picture uh, of everything here tonight. We'll start with one. Uh, you know, some new guys have come into the uh, to the team here lately. They're looking at a guy like Gordon Whalen, Chris Siolik, uh, to name a few. Uh, how have you seen them adapting? Um, you know, it's not necessarily, if you listen to the podcast, the older guys say it's not a necessarily easy locker room to break into just like that. Uh, but it seems like the two of them have been able to do pretty good, and it seems like. But how have you seen them uh, adapting and getting along here so far? Well, they, they both played pretty well. I mean, uh, you know, Chris Chris kind of bounced around a little bit, and uh, 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 Seolik, and uh, uh, he, he's a big kid, can skate. Uh, you know, needs to improve on a few things, but for the most part, he's played well, and he's the type of player that can kind of really move up and down the lineup. And and uh, uh, 
I, I, I saw him last summer there, and, and him and I've talked quite a bit. And so I, he's that type of guy where you know we we, we you know when we get in the playoffs, he's going to be all over the place. And uh, uh, you know when we need him here, we need him there. I, I like I'm excited for him to, to to see where he can be, and and, and, and uh, maybe next year and spend a whole year here and and, and really improve. But uh, he's done well, as I said uh, coming in. I wasn't sure where he was going to fit, and uh, so far he's done a pretty good job. And uh, old Gordy Whalen on the point there. Uh, uh, th this guy's been uh, 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 a blessing. He's just been, uh, the guys love him. Uh, he, he came in the first day and it was just uh, to let everybody know he came in the first day and he was all dressed he had khakis and a golf shirt and he looked really good and I, the boys kind of gave him a little ribbing because he was a little maybe overdressed but I, I told, he said I just wanted to come and look good and uh, uh, his coach said he was coaching in, in uh, college just told me you're going to love him and you know he, he dresses like that all the time because I, I told him it looks good and uh, you, you know what uh, uh, he does whatever you want on the ice off the ice he asks questions uh, he He's improving every day. He hasn't played a whole lot in the last couple of years, uh, but you know what? His his heart is as big as all outdoors. He 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 works so hard, and and uh, uh, he's got a little bit of uh, of that wild stallion in him. Like he likes to go a little bit, and the uh, coach has to give him the old. Uh, uh, I roll him in here every once in a while, but uh, you know he's done a good job. And and uh, uh, you know the, you know the thing that the, when you meet people like this, and th this is the best thing about sports, it, it's it's the relationships that you have. It's the people that are here tonight. It's the co players that you have, and uh, the coach that had him in college. He said uh, he said Harry, you're going to love this guy. And 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 all the players. I talked to one of the other players on the team, and first thing he was he asked about Gordy and how he's doing, and, and and he was so excited that he got the chance to play and. and everything like that so that says a lot about his character and as I said he he's a character guy and that's what we want and he fit right in right away like you know he he, he came that first weekend and uh, I, I know the boys and him had a had a little fun the one night and uh, uh, it's just a just a great kid and as I said uh, I, I think he's going to get better and better every day and as I said he works at it so uh, I'm glad he's here no, great. It's great to have both of them here, and, uh, you know, they, uh, they've been able to contribute as well. Um, this is about the game on Friday night, and it was uh, about, on the, about the power play in that second period. Uh, no defensive guys uh, out there on the ice, and looking at that first unit in, part, uh, in particular, you go with the 5-4, and, uh, you know, what's the intention with that? What's the thought process with that? <coughs> Trying to get all five of those goal, goal scorers out there. Well, I, every team is different. And and I, I I've played where we've had five uh, forwards and and uh, I, I every you you coach what you have you you don't coach if I if I had a, a and I don't want to knock the defenseman but uh, the, the, with the five guys that I have on there or the six guys uh, on my forward line that uh, when you have those guys out there like that and you want to stack them it, it's pretty tough not to stack them uh, and uh, you know Pastuka usually plays the point there he can play defense he's played defense last year apparently quite a bit and that so it it, it it's what you have Norm, normally I, I always have a defenseman back there but uh, it, it just depends on what you have. And, and when I look at my lineup, uh, I had two units at the start of the year. I had the uh, the checks and, and a couple guys, and then Forty and Baker and, and, and that, and, and uh, uh, they were mixed up and, and also like that. And then I lost some guys, and, and I stacked them together, and uh, they're pretty good. <laughs> so, uh, uh, except for the one night in Whitville with the three on one, but other than that, it was, uh, you know, for the most part, uh, they're, they're a highly skilled team. And as I said, you you. you Everybody has a system, but if your systems, if your players can't play that system, it's no good. So, I, you know, I put these five guys together and, and uh, you know, they've clicked and uh, uh, they're going to be a big part of, the, of why we're going to go so, so far in the playoffs. And, uh, uh, you know, they, they've, uh, they've got to be clicking and uh, hopefully we can get them going on, uh, on all cylinders. But uh, that, that's why you put those five guys together with the skill. And, you know, even with, uh, you know, I lose one, Pastuka left and, you know, I, I put in Kramer and then, you know, uh, if, if Copelinger is not there, we, we we got somebody else, and so uh, we have we have a, a, a very deep, very deep uh, uh, forwards who who can play that system. And as I said, so that's what you have. And the depth has been something that's really shown all year because uh, it's never been like you've had 
the six, seven options all available at once if you're including Peter as yeah. well as uh, Copes in there. Uh, so you have those seven options, and they've still never been able to go out there and have a full unit like yeah. that together. Well, the one, the one, I think we had a practice on Thursday the one time, and, and uh, actually I had I had the five guys at one end, and then I still had Copelinger and uh, 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 Kramer and that. They, they were at the other end, and I'm thinking, oh boy, oh boy, am I, you know, I... I must have, you know, done something right because all of a sudden this looks pretty good. And uh, by the time we played Friday night, I didn't have all of them. I had to move these two guys down here because guys went out or whatever. And I, I forget. And I was like, oh, I must have done something bad because now they've gone. So <laughs> it, it was. Just, that's how fast hockey changes. And and uh, again, so that that's. But again, I've got that a number of guys that can play that system and, and play that way. And uh, it, 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 they get a little antsy about playing and, and not taking care of our end a little bit once in a while, but uh, sometimes you live by the sword and you got to die by it. When you were in Danville with that sequence or that stretch there throughout January where you had uh, guys get called up, when you were in Danville, did you have to go through and try to navigate through stuff like that back when you were the head coach of the Dashers? Yeah, we, we, we had we had quite a few guys go up. Uh, the, you know, the, Actually, the year I won it, uh, uh, my number one goalie went up. Uh, I brought another guy in, and, uh, and he never came back. And then, then uh, I had another goalie, and, and uh, 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 he, he was playing really well, and I lost him, and he went up. So uh, I lost two goalies that, that, that never came back. And, and, so, and then I lost some forwards. Uh, uh, even when we won it there, I think, I think I had like two or three guys that still were in the, in the Southern Pro League, and so they didn't even come back. So uh, you, you have to navigate or you have to navigate through injuries or whatever. And uh, uh, what, what happened here that's kind of unusual, it all happened at once. And, and, and a lot of times during the season, you know, you lose a guy here or you lose this guy like that. And it doesn't seem so bad. But, you know, all of a sudden one day I woke up and, you know, I had five guys that weren't in the dressing room. So you, it, it just it, it hit us hard. But that... that it proves, and, and uh, you know, I was talking to a coach today that's a, a, a kind of a family member, and we were talking about it. When, when, when you have a base like we had here, we weathered the storm, and, and maybe we weren't as good as everybody wanted us to be there in January, but we, we still had a pretty good record. And, and, and to be where we are today, uh, you know, like we'd gone on a seven or eight or nine game losing streak, we, not, we don't have the points that we have today. So we, we, we hung in there pretty good and played pretty well. And, uh, you know, the one weekend there, uh, we played with 12 players and, 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 and played Columbus and, and played really well. So it, 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 it's disheartening because you, you, you know what you have and you lose those things, but th that, that's part of the game. And, uh, you know, when guys go up or guys get hurt, that, that's just, as I said, th that's part of the game, and you, you got to navigate through it. I'll navigate it into the second uh, second place right now in the Continental Division. Um, one more question on here, and I, I believe this is for the both of us. Uh, two generations, um, and this is coming off of uh, your quote, you're in the driver's seat. Um, what's your favorite or dream vehicle? Dream vehicle. <sighs> Well, I guess when you know when you're growing up, and especially in the, I won't tell you what decade I was in, but um, uh, the decade there, the back then was always the Corvette. You know what I mean? But I, I, I'm more of a of a. Uh, luxury type guy like you know like, I like the Cadillac Seville or something like that where I can just sit back or you know these big cars and you know you can just drive like that and uh, uh, that, that's kind of I, th I think I'm more into the uh, uh, you know as I said in the younger days uh, growing up and especially when you got into junior and, and you knew guys that, are, that moved up and they got the first car everybody wanted to get was the Corvette back then and so that, that was the big car and uh, uh, actually, my roommate the one year actually had a Corvette, and uh, I drove in it one time, and I didn't think it was that, you know, it's, it's nice when you're sitting in it and people are looking at you, but it wasn't that great of a ride. As I said, I'd rather have the nice luxury car, so I was, I'm more into the Cadillacs. Cadillacs? Yeah. I, uh, I, I'll go the luxury route yeah. with you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, I've always I've always wanted to get a uh, a Rolls Royce. Oh, that yeah. that, that 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 could go. I, yeah. I, I look good in that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah. You want to buy me one? Uh, uh, okay. Does anybody out there want to buy me one? I look good in a Rolls Royce. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe in a few years. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, no. But so yeah, no. The Rolls Royce. I I, I saw it. I was I, I was maybe at like a like a Red Sox game. Or oh something. yeah. And I saw I saw David Ortiz get out of his Rolls oh, Royce, yeah. and I was like, I want one of those one day, so I can yeah. look like Big Poppy like that. But uh, but yeah. Um, 
But yeah, so those are all the, those are all the questions okay. from the crowd here tonight. And uh, but yeah, thank you guys as always for the questions. Thank you for coming as always as well. And uh, before we get too late, and to if anybody wants to drop off the Rolls Royce, yeah. you know where uh, I'll be at the end. Oh, not the end. Not the end. At the not the annex. Arena. The I'll arena. be at the arena. You just <laughs> I have a spot for it. You can just drive it in, leave the keys in it. I'll be right out. <laughs> you got to do what you got to yeah, do. Right. I, 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 <laughs> try to ask. Try to ask. But uh, before we get to later in our program as well, um, obviously we're here at King's Crab Shack, one of the locations we have uh, the coaches show here. And uh, tonight is their owner, Norbert Cooper's birthday. We want to wish him a very hey, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Well. Yeah. Ooh. yeah. Yeah, love coming here. Thank you guys so much for having us here every few weeks and always enjoy coming here to King's Crab Shack. Uh, but we got to run into a, a timeout here on the Coach Harry Show. We got about 15 minutes left in our program here this evening. And we're back with more after this here on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOV. Mabel Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pinebrook Bar and Grill, relax by our pool in Cabana, and gear up at the Pro Shop while sharpening your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18 hall Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. You can find out more at MapleChaseCC.com. That's MapleChaseCC.com. Welcome to Martinsville. Martinsville isn't your average everyday race trip. Far from it. It's truly one of a kind. The speed, the shape, the history, the hospitality, and heck, even the hot dogs. A one of a kind weekend at the short track of NASCAR with trucks on Friday, Xfinity on Saturday, and Cup Series on Sunday. It's one event too amazing to miss. NASCAR weekend at Martinsville Speedway. Get your tickets now at martinsvillespeedway.com. I want Hui to live a long, happy life. I give him supplements to take care of his joints. He's on preventatives to keep the fleas and ticks away. It's the same with my Subaru Outback. It takes care of us every day and when we go on adventures. We get our Outback serviced by the experts at Flow Subaru of Winston-Salem. I love my Subaru and I know it will live a long and happy life if I treat it right, just like Hui. When it comes to performance, speed matters, just like on the ice. Introducing Same Day Dental Crowns right here at Twin Oaks Dentistry. With cutting edge technology, we craft crowns on site, eliminating the need for temporary. As proud sponsors of the Carolina Thunderbirds, we understand the need for top notch performance. We're more than just dental care. We're your partners in achieving your best smile. Twin Oaks Dentistry, we're taking Back here on the Coach Harry Show. We got about 13 minutes left in our program here this evening. Brendan Riley and the head coach, Steve Harrison. I'm smiling. <laughs> Ever since we talked about the Rolls Royce, we've been smiling. I can't wait for it to come. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, no, we're still talking about it during the break as well. But I... Um, now taking a look here uh, to this weekend, getting back to uh, getting back to hockey here. Uh, Mississippi again this weekend, three three and one record against them this year. Uh, seen them once since Yanni's been gone. Uh, obviously, their leading scorer and, and the, the leader on the ice on that team. Uh, but he's gone now, and this is a team that uh, comes in this weekend. They clinched last Thursday against yep. the eight two victory, but then after that they go to Baton Rouge and they end up dropping all three games in a row. So they're coming in reeling a little bit, but still a team that. Uh, uh, has kind of had your guys' number at points this year. Yeah, they, well, I mean, I, I think they hit us at the right time, too. I mean, that's uh, um, we, we went into their barn a couple times with uh, uh, probably not the lineup that we want to have all the time. Uh, that's still no excuse, but uh, they, they got some points from us at that situation. And then uh, uh, they, they have a good team. When Yanni was there and the, they had the one defenseman there, too, I think he's out right now, too. Uh, uh, the, 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 those are good players, and and Yanni's a a, a type of player that uh, can change a game, uh, and and as I said, they, they they played really well. I think they're a better team now. 
than, than they were uh, the, the before. They relied on him a lot, and uh, uh, you know I know the coach, and and, and he's trying to preach team, and uh, so I, I think they might be a better team right now. I don't I don't know if if if, it, if that portrays into more points or not, but uh, I, I think they're going to be more. Uh, you know, one, two, three lines, and, and then the sixth defense, and they're going to be going where you know before it was kind of like Yanni, and then, and then they whoever, and then Yanni, 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 and whatever. And so I, I, I think, as I said, I, I think overall, and, and he's trying to get to that team mode, uh, knowing him and talking to him. So uh, I think they might be a better team, and uh, they're going to come in this weekend, uh, as you say, you lose three in a row like that to Baton Rouge, and, and so they're they're going to come in with uh, uh, like a bear with a sore paw, and uh, we're going to have to be ready. You get to go to Biloxi again. We're going to go there and hopefully nice weather. We haven't had nice weather there, so we'll, we'll get down there. And uh, uh, as I said, this is uh, the pre-test, and uh, uh, we, we will see how we do. And again, uh, this is the time to maybe tinker with a few things and see, uh, as I said, I know Pastuk is coming back, and, and so is uh, uh, Schnappi will be back again. So uh, we'll, we'll maybe tinker with some lines and see how they go. Well, just for context for the weather down there, the two trips we've gone on, yeah. it, it's, it's right, if you've been there, you know it's right on the water. It's right on the Gulf there. But uh, every time we've gone, it has been raining so hard. <laughs> and, and we, we, were sitting, we were sitting in our hotel room one day, and I thought there was a hurricane yeah. coming or something. It was, shake, it was shaking the hotel, but it'll be, it'll be nice to uh, be in shorts down there. Shorts down there. <laughs> we're, we're going tonight. Well, it's beautiful here, too. So it's, uh, But, yeah, it's, it'll be nice down there. No, it'll be nice. And uh, it'll, that's 8.05 p.m. puck drop Friday, and then it's 7.05 on Saturday. Uh, but now taking a look at uh, just the FVHL as a whole now. Um, you know, you've almost got a full season under the belt now after uh, um, you last won it back in uh, 2017. Um, so now coming back to this league and going through a full year, what have you seen changes? Why? What have you seen changes? What have you seen say the same? And what have you seen in, improve? Well, I, I think the players are getting more skilled as we go along. Uh, and from top to bottom, uh, I mean, uh, uh, even players that uh, – uh, I hate to put them in order, but you know maybe at the bottom uh, they're still highly skilled, uh, and and I don't know. I, I think as we go on, they're more skilled. As you said, you look at kids' development now; it's all about skill. It's all about skating, and and these kids, most of these kids can skate and and, and uh, uh, handle the puck and, and and are very skilled that way. Uh, the, the 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 question that when when they get to this level, or they uh, do they know the game? And, and that, that's the big question. And a lot of guys are, uh, you watch them in practice or you watch them go out on the ice and you think, well, that guy's going to be a, you know, what did we find here? We got a diamond in the rough. And, and, then, and then they struggle on the ice during the game because uh, I, I think a lot, of, uh, a lot of systems growing up and, and, and even in college, in certain colleges, it, it's more or less uh, uh, we're just going to run and gun. And, and if the score is 8-7, then that's what happens. Well, you get into pro hockey, uh, that's not the way a lot of got coaches want to play. And uh, I, I want to be offensively, but if, uh, you, you, don't win many, you don't win many battles if, if that's the way you're going to play all the time because you're scoring yeah one night you might score seven but you're not going to score seven every night and and so if that's your style that's a tough way to win every night well and now taking a look at this league it's starting to expand again mm -hmm. as well uh just announced last week that uh athens is the newest uh right. official location um have you been to Athens? Have you, do you know what hockey No, I've like never there? been there. Apparently it's a new rink. Uh, uh, actually, I talked to a, a gentleman that's uh, actually in the East Coast League that uh, I think might be going in there to help him run it. Uh, so apparently they, they, they're excited about it. Uh, it's a brand new facility, so I, I think they're, uh, uh, they're going to put their best foot forward, and, and, and uh, uh, hopefully the franchise works well. And uh, as I said, they're, 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 they're going to go out and uh, uh, start recruiting right away and, and, and try to, to, you know, to start off the season and uh, uh, not behind the eight ball and, 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 and get going. Well, we have to think they'll also join the Continental Division as well, if you, have, if you, if you had to think, right? What's that? You'd, they'd have to join our division. Yeah, I th I'm pretty sure they would. I, I'm not sure how they're going to work it. Uh, uh, you know, uh, every year is a little different, uh, and so uh, I, logistic-wise, you would think they'd be down in our division, but uh, the, as I said, I'm not sure. Taking a look at uh, the divisions, uh, the Empire Division uh, – Go six and three against them this year, and um, but I haven't seen a team from that side of the league since all the way back when uh, Danbury was in town. Yeah. Uh, so it's been a long haul against uh, your own division, but that's kind of how it plays out. But uh, uh, this stretch here, the, I think it was the final 24 games against the division, and uh, you guys just continue to have success. Um, but it's always just tougher going up against your division every night. 
Well, it, it, every game is is more important because it, 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 you're, you're, when you look in the standings, you're you're going ahead of that guy there. So that, that's why it's uh, uh, the, the points are more important. And then when you're playing against teams that are in your division, it, it's just more of a rivalry. Like you know, like if Elmira came in here, they're not in our division. We don't see them very often. And and it, it, just from a fan standpoint, also, it's it's not the same. It's a little different. But you know, Columbus comes in here, or Baton Rouge, or and, and, and they're in our division. It's you know, you, you, you want to beat them. And, and so it's it just, it, it's a little different. But as I said, you got to beat everybody. And uh, as I said, just sometimes the way the, the, the travel works in this league, sometimes, uh, uh, you know, you see one division quite a bit, and then, then you turn around and see the other division. So uh, it'll be interesting to see, like, you know, to, to, to watch a team like Binghamton or, or, or Motor City right now. And, and uh, they're playing pretty well. But uh, when you haven't seen them for as long as we have, uh, we're not sure how good they're playing or how bad they're playing or uh, – so, so that, it'll be interesting. That's why, you know, like even us, we, we didn't see Columbus probably for about a month, month and a half or, or more. And, and it was just nice to go in and kind of see them how they're playing. And, and so uh, uh, we'll get a feel for them the last couple of games. And uh, <coughs> I'm assuming we'll probably see them for three more after that. Now, before we run into our final timeout, uh, travel here in this league, going on the road. You got, you got a favorite spot, favorite place that we go on the road? Not really. Like, well, I mean, it's nice to go down south, I guess, if, if it was nice weather, but uh, uh, not really. I, I, it's always nice to go to Port Huron and, and uh, um, uh, just see the the, uh, the old arena where, I, you know, my first year pro. Uh, uh, but no, not uh, I, I, I just enjoy playing or, or coaching and, and, you know, like going to going into a rink like Danbury and, uh, you know, uh, the, the the places you go, like uh, as I said, uh, I always like going to Danbury because it's a great place to go and win, and uh, uh, so that's what I like more than than you know. Uh, is that we don't really have a whole lot of time off, uh, uh, you know. So it's not like you can go sightseeing or you, you know you some you got a favorite place to eat. Uh, 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 there's a Chipotle in every city, so so I I, I can I, it's uh, you know what I mean. So uh, a lot of things don't really change, or you, or you eat at the hotel, or, or or as I said, like you know the one thing about Mississippi is. You know, they have the hotel and they have the buffet and that, that's kind of nice or whatever. But uh, I probably would just maybe pour it here on, as I said, from a standpoint of uh, uh, but anywhere you go, uh, it's exciting because uh, you want to win. And that's that's the, the best part about the road trip. And hopefully it continues coming up this weekend against Mississippi. That's 8.05 on Friday, 7.05 on Saturday for the start of the final five games of the regular season. we got to run to our final time out of the evening here on the Coach Harry Show. You're live from King's Crab Shack here on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. I want Hui to live a long, happy life. I give him supplements to take care of his joints. He's on preventatives to keep the fleas and ticks away. It's the same with my Subaru Outback. He takes care of us every day and when we go on adventures. We get our Outback serviced by the experts at Flow Subaru of Winston-Salem. I love my Subaru and I know it will live a long and happy life if I treat it right, just like Hui. For over 85 years, Mustin and Crutchfield has been more than just a local market. We've been a proud part of North Carolina's heritage. When our founders started in 1938, they sourced meats from local farmers and groceries from small companies. Finding a way to stay competitive in this market has been a challenge through the years. Luckily, there are a lot of entrepreneurs, and now we have close to 50 local vendors that we feature. We're proud to partner with the Carolina Thunderbirds as a local sponsor, celebrating community values both on and off the ice. Mustin and Crutchfield, your hometown local grocer. Here at Comtech, we think it shouldn't cost a fortune to have peace of mind. That's why we bring you the latest in smart home protection and home monitoring at prices you can afford. Already paying for home monitoring? We can beat it. Give us a call today or visit us at ctpower.com. That's ctpower.com. Comtech, your one stop for security, fire, cameras, and more. Once upon a time, not so far away, two heroes found the secret to a perfect game day. 
They had heard of a baker, one with big heart. They were thrilled he had the answer. Ava's Cupcakes is where he's set to start. From cakes to cookies, cupcakes, and more, we've got flavors that'll score and score. So the Thunderbirds cheered, ready to tell all. Ava's Cupcakes is the sweetest. Bakery to call. Back here at King Crab Shack, getting ready to close up the Coach Harry Show here on another Tuesday evening. Brent Riley and the head coach, Steve Harrison. Uh, coach, you got about a minute or so before we have to get out of here. Um, but two coming up against Mississippi. It's the final stretch here, and uh, just your final thoughts before we have to get out of here. Well, it's, 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 it's good. After today, I'm excited. And as I said, we're, we're, we're going to get on the bus Thursday night and go down there and uh, uh, have a little test and see where we're at and, and again and, and and I think the boys understand uh, where we're at as, as a team and and, and uh, uh, the one message after uh, fr Saturday night was is that we just can't turn it on and um, uh, so I, I think they're excited you could feel the excitement because they're, they're they're talking about different things and uh, they know it's, it's it's that time of year and uh, uh, I think they're they they want to kind of get it going I think too you know what I mean so but don't put the cart before the horse we got five games left and uh, let's play them and then then we'll go move on 805 coming up on Friday 705 on Saturday those times Eastern for Carolina and Mississippi coach thank you as always thank you and uh, thank you everyone Good to see for everybody coming. yeah yep. put a smile on your face <laughs> 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 and a big thank you as always for your King's Crab Shack for having us here yep. on another Tuesday Great. evening that does it for the coach Harry show here live from King King's Crab Shack here on Thunderbirds TV and on 